Good morning, everyone. It is Natasha from the Thriftaholic Mom. It is Wednesday, the 13th of July, and this is the third video in our um, budget and business series that I'm doing. Um, it's going to be several months long. It's going to walk you and me through the whole process of starting your your budget um, from start to finish for 60 days and then also helping you guys start your um, your own Poshmark um, business or side hustle if you don't want it to be a full-blown business we don't have to call it that we can call it a side hustle so if you haven't have enjoyed I'm just turning my light on if you have enjoyed my last two videos I hope that you will stick around for this one and all the ones to come because it's going to be fun it takes a little bit getting into all of this because I want to make sure I go step by step and I don't want to leave anyone out or feel like they don't know what um, what to do next I am not tech savvy really um, I said that on my last video I was trying to figure out how to screen share my phone screen with you in order to show you the whole process of downloading or going to your app store in order to download your Poshmark, Poshmark app onto your phone I, I don't know how to do that so I'm just gonna hold my phone up for you guys and we're gonna see what we can do because again I just want to um, I think the reason why people stop doing um, trying to do your business or budget is because they get lost and they don't know what to do next or they just get frustrated and I want to try to alleviate that um, feeling that we get so um, yesterday for budget we talked about um, the first three envelopes and your your own me jar um, we're going to I'm gonna do it in another video for today um, we're gonna go further into our budget but for now um, I just want to touch more on Poshmark because in order to make the money that we need in order to stuff the envelopes um, quite a bit um, we need in another additional income and so the sooner that we can get those items that those 10 items that we took measurements of yesterday um, listed the sooner you're going to make money right so the first thing that we're going to do is look on your uh, my phone let me unlock it okay so then here is my home screen you're gonna go to right here where it is blue and it says app store we are going to press that okay and it's going to take you here um, right here in the bottom corner it says search I don't know if you could probably see that but it looks like a, um, a magnifying glass and up at the top in the search engine um, it you can type in what you're looking for so we're just going to type in Poshmark and several different things are going to come on your screen you probably can't see that um, maybe a little bit but um, it's you're just going to to the one where it says Poshmark buy and sell fashion that's the second one down and you should see its little um, this is their symbol right here to make sure that it's the right one so you're going to tap that here and it's going to say you're going to want to download yours mine is already on loaded onto my phone so you're going to load yours on you're going to tap it and load it onto your your phone so do that part that i'm going to show you what my app on my phone looks like so this right here is my poshmark um little app that uh that you're going to see on your phone and it's going to ask you to make your own username and password. Um, like I had said in my previous videos, I wish I really would have known that um, it's not, you need to be more, um, take a little bit more time and figure out what you want your username to be. I thought that it was just like, um, like anything else, you just need a username. So I just used my generic one, which was Mother Spears 30 not knowing that that is now I don't believe that you can change the name of your closet so make it something that um, represents you 
or something cool, some type of a flashy name that you like or something like that. So put all that, that information and then it should load you onto uh, the next screen here. So I'm gonna go to my Poshmark app, which is right here. I'm gonna touch it and it's gonna bring up, your closet isn't gonna look like this because you, as of right now, have nothing in your closet. So the, the photos that we, the measurements that we took yesterday, um, and hopefully you have taken photos of your, um, your 10 items, they should be on your phone. So now um, I can go into more detail on the, um, the different things that need to be photographed, but I think I already went through that. You always need to take a picture of the label, the size, the, the material tag, um, the front, the back, any details that, um, if, if it's uh, has some type of a print on it, has embellishments on the pockets, um, embroidery, anything, try to take a close-up picture of that, um, and any obvious little stains or nicks or anything that, um, that you need to let the um, potential buyer know about so it doesn't come back um, to you later. So. Um, hopefully you've done all of that. If not, that's fine. You can pause this video or come back to it. We just need um, a couple pictures of all 10 of your items that you have. Make sure it's in good lighting. Um, if you have a white background, um, great. That would be fantastic. If you don't, it's perfectly fine. Um, just do the best that you um, are capable of doing for your first 10 items. Then you're gonna come back to my video. You've paused it, you've taken your photos, and now this is a screen down here that you're going to see. From left to right, it says feed, shop, sell, news, and, and then your name of your closet. So you're going to hit the dollar sign, and then it's going to come up with a blank screen. Uh, I don't know if you can see that. There you go. It's just a blank screen. It has no details on it because we haven't done anything yet. So you're going to, the first thing that you're going to do is you're going to uh, hit we're gonna add the photos first because you can't really do anything else in this screen Hopefully you have your phone in front of you so that you are following along with me If not, you're probably gonna be completely lost again if I knew how to do the screen share thing I would have no problem doing that, but I I have no idea so I am working with what I have which is the whole real um, motto of this whole process that we're doing it's all, we can do all of the things with what we have available to us. So with that being said, you're going to um, do the photos first. So you're going to tap the, that first um, box that has a photo or video in it. And then it's gonna come to this. And then you're gonna go right here. This is gonna be where all of your photos that you took of all of your items is gonna be located. So tap that screen. It's going to bring up all of your photos. So you're going to find your first item. Just tap all of the photos that pertain to the first item that you took pictures of. Make sure that um, you've, you've done all of them. Um, most importantly, again, the label, the size tag, the material tag, anything that is important that you would want to know if you are purchasing this item. After you've done that, it, the first one's going to pop up in the screen here, and then you're going to hit next. My phone's thinking. And thinking. Okay, so then um, it pops to another screen where it says cover shot you can decide if you want do you want this picture to be your the first photo that everyone sees is what that question is if you don't then you can scroll down here all of these you can choose any of these these pictures that you chose originally for that item to be the first photo that people see um, when they look at your item so wh whichever one that you choose would be what shows off um, everything about your first item and if you're good with that then you're going to hit next again and the next part is detail 
So this is um, a pretty important information here that you need to put uh, in this first one because people can potentially be looking for this item on places like Google, not only Poshmark. And so um, the information that you put here, if you were searching for this item, what detailed information in like three or four words would you want to put um, in the, your Google search or even Poshmark if you were a p potential buyer for this item. So my item is a J. Crew um, Eyelet Fit and Flare Blue. What color is it? It's blue. Um, the size is important. Um, that maybe it, you could wear it for summer. All of those would be great things to put in in your item. Look at the um, the fabric content. If it has silk in it notate that. If it has linen in it or if it's 100% of one of those, make sure that goes into this first section up here. Um, if uh, I think that's probably good. So I would put J, J. Crew um, Blue Eyelet um, Button Front Fit and Flare because the fit and flare means that it's accentuates the waist and then it flares out. So that's one of my keywords that I use and I will do a video about keywords. So then um, J. Crew Eyelet Blue Button Down Fit and Flare Dress and then the size that you um, that this item is and then also I would put in my top um, sentence that is 100% cotton. So if somebody's looking for a dress that's 100% cotton, your item would pop up. If you're, if they are just looking for something from J. Crew, your item possibly would pop up. Not only on Google, but also on other platforms that people are searching for items like that on. Um, and that happens quite often. So as much pop information about your item that you can put in the first um, description of your item, the title, would be the best. And then I always copy and paste that information in my title into my uh, description of my item. And then uh, I know in the title you only have a very short amount of um, words that you can use in the title. That's why I copy and paste it, the title, into my description because you are, you're allowed a lot more information in the description part. So in your description you have... Um, copy and pasted your title information and then anything else that is important I know that a lot of women like having pockets in their dress so that would be a keyword that I would put in my item description um, to set my my item apart from somebody else's that may not have pockets uh, it is lined I would put that in the description I always also put in the description if there's any flaws I put just like an asterisk right before I start writing that part out so that um, it's it, it is an important thing that I need to make sure that the potential buyer somebody who's looking at that listing knows about um, if there is no flaws I put that in um, bright or not bright but capital letters so that they they know that and then um, I always also put the, all of the fabric content that's in the listing. And then the last couple things that I put on there is that measurements are approximate. That's very um, important for, for you. Um, so I put um, that the, the measurements are approximate and then the measurements of the item. Um, I showed you that in yesterday's video. If you did not catch that video, I will put it right here, um, or it will show up at the end of this video if you can go back and watch. Um, we worked on short sleeve shirts, long sleeve shirts, a romper yesterday, and a jacket. Um, I will get into more detail on measurements on skirts and jeans um, after I do a what's in the bag of, of jeans and I, I don't know if you guys have seen those videos but those are also um, going every single day as well um, I know that's a lot of information and then after you have done your description 
So we've taken care of the de uh, a detailed uh, title, and then we've also done the description. Next category is you're gonna you're gonna give them more information about what it is. So in the categories, first you're gonna decide is it women's, men's, kids, home, pet, or electronics. Mine is a dress, so it's definitely women's. And then I would hit dress at the next screen, and then. This, they just want a little bit more information. Is this a maxi dress? Is it a wedding dress? Um, just so that they can um, break it down a little bit further for you. So mine I would say is a midi dress. And after you've picked that, then you're gonna hit done. So then your category is finished. A lot of this is self-explanatory. The quantity is the next question. It's just one. The size is very important. Go back to your photos and make sure that you're putting it in correctly. Um, it's a size 6, so I chose that one. The brand, mine is J. Crew. I'm not showing you these screens because hopefully you're, you're doing um, your item while I'm doing my item. You don't have to put a color. Um, if you're not exactly sure if it's a maroon or a red or a pink, just leave it blank. Um, because the last thing that you want to do is send an item to a customer. You said that it was maroon and they get it, you not only said in your description that it was maroon, but you also chose the color red, but you get it, the item sells to a customer and they receive it and it's not maroon or purple, it's actually pink to them. So if you're, if it's obvious that, like mine is obviously blue, if yours is not so obvious, just you don't have to choose something in the color section. So I'll just leave mine blank here it's asking if it's new with tags. Mine is not. And then the style tags are another important um, thing to put in your listing. S uh, style tags would be um, like my dress is an eyelet fit and flare dress. Where would somebody wear that? Like keywords, they could wear it to a bridal shower, they could wear it to a pumpkin, they can wear it to work, they can wear it um, because it's summer, it's sleeveless. Um, all of those are just different keywords. If you're listing something that may be vintage, then you would use the word vintage, Y2K, 90s. Um, so these are very important um, to make sure that you put all three in. So we do that one, and then the next one, original price. You probably have no idea what the original price of your item was. We're just gonna hit zero. And then after you've done all that, I haven't finished all of all of my, um, I didn't do my description, everything I was just telling you. After you've hit the original price is zero, a, and then hit the list price, a suggested price is gonna come up for you. And then you can click that to um, look at what other solds have sold for. So then you can decide on the price that you're going to list it for. If you're going to give them a discounted shipping rate, and then you can finally list your item and it will be active on your um, Poshmark closet. So that would be for your first item. Hopefully I'll figure out how to do the screen share so I can do this again for you to try and make it a little bit more um, make you understand a little bit easier. Another thing that I'm going to show you on your app that you have on your phone, there are three different, if you look at your first square with your first item, um, there's three little symbols at the bottom. The first one is a heart. The next one is a like a suitcase with a plus sign. And then the one furthest in the other corner is just a square. That square will allow you to share all of your items that you, that item to anybody who's following you. So I'm gonna go back, you're gonna hit this square in order to share it, and then you're going to hit, um, you're gonna send it to your followers. So you're gonna share. The heart button, if you've never been on Poshmark before, so say that you weren't selling items, or you're selling items but you would like to maybe purchase a coat so you're looking for a specific coat 
um, in that the listing of whatever coat or something that you like you would hit that heart button in order to let um, the seller know that you like this item and you would like to know um, if they're willing to give you a discount also I would like to just suggest that um, any items that you are listing increase the price to just a little bit higher than what you would you would like to get for that item because on posh on poshmark um, that type of a platform when you get an a like from somebody they're expecting you to give them some sort of a percentage off um, for that item and I'll go into that um, a little bit deeper to make it a little bit easier to understand but um, what I could tell you right now is just to list your your all of your items just a couple dollars higher than what you would actually like to get for your item so that it leaves room for you to give them a percentage discount and possibly just a shipping discount um, I hope that this helped I will do another video tomorrow um, we're actually just going to go over um, the items that you can order for free um, to help with shipping and then also um, I don't know maybe you've sold things on other platforms the buyer um, we can give them a shipping discount but they pay for um, shipping um, for their items from Poshmark and as long as the package is below five pounds five pounds or below it stays at that at that rate so you don't have to weigh your items when you're listing them um, if you're worried that it's over five pounds then um, you can absolutely use a scale like this one in order to find out the weight of the item um, I rarely have to do this with my Poshmark uh, items unless somebody is buying a huge bundle again that's something that I will discuss with you guys in a later video but yes people do bundle several items together for um, so they can only they only have to pay one shipping price um, for their items so uh, if you are worried about the weight at that point then this would be something that you would possibly want to to get they're always at uh, thrift stores and stuff like that and they're excuse me they're not really that, that expensive to get off of Amazon um, but we'll get into that in our in our shipping video. I hope today that you um, this makes it a little bit easier and not as confusing in order to not only load your Poshmark app onto your phone, but also to go ahead and start listing those items. Um, I am fine um, if you ask me any, any questions in regards to um, Poshmark or um, things that you're having trouble with so that I can absolutely help you with those. I hope that this uh, video helped you and I hope that you will stick around for this whole process. Um, it's going to be so exciting and so fulfilling in so many ways and I hope that you will come along. I hope you guys have a good day and happy Wednesday.